Well, hello, welcome back. Well, today I'm out on a KTM Aventura 890. It's brand spanking new, so still been running. I'll just say thanks to Orwell Motorcycles for lending me the bike. It's really good of them. I'm going to do a little bit of dual carriageway down here, so I'm just going to just see what it's like on the dual carriageway with the wind protection and stuff. So it's got a pretty decent sized screen and out here. Uh, it has got um, rider modes on this. You've got street mode, rain mode and off-road mode. So we're just going to leave it in street for now. The dash is quite easy to use actually. It's got the same buttons, controls and that as my SuperDick GT on here. That is quite easy. And it comes with uh, traction control and ABS. And you've got KTM My Ride app as well, you can um, connect up to it. So that's quite handy. Uh, it comes with a fuel gauge. Uh, it's quite nice as well, so it's got a gear indicator as well on there, which is quite handy. I do like a gear indicator. Alright, uh, so for the wind protection, I'm doing 70 mile an hour here. Uh, to be honest, it's not that great. As uh, I'll get quite a lot of wind blast onto my crash helmet. Uh, you know, and I don't think the screen is adjustable either. I will have a look at that in a little while. Well, I just stopped and had a look at the screen, but it doesn't appear to adjust at all, so that's it. So for me, at my height, that's a little bit, you know, you get a lot of wind blast onto your crash helmet a bit, really. But I'm about 5'9", so if you're a bit shorter, that'll probably be alright, you know. Well, you might even be able to buy different screens, but that is quite high, that screen. It's just, it must be the shape of it or something that doesn't give a very good protection. The rest of the wind protection is pretty good, though, like on your body and on your legs as well. They're pretty covered because I hate it when you're riding along and the wind's on your legs and I keep blowing your legs out, you know. But uh, don't do that on this. It's quite nice, it's got the, the tank and that and the panels at the front here of your legs, so it's not with a wind blast on your legs. And all the shoulders and body's totally fine. So it's just a little bit from the screen, I find, sort of blasting straight onto your crash helmet. So the clutch is very nice on it, very light clutch, bite quite nicely, it's very easy. And I find the throttle control as well is very nice, it's very smooth, it's not off and on, it's not snatchy or nothing. And the constant throttle is really nice as well, so the fuel is really good on the bike. So there isn't a quick shifter or nothing on it, so it's pretty sort of basic in that way. But the gearbox is nice though, it changes gear really nicely, no problems there. See what power has got a bit, it's just still being run in so, I can't open it up too much. It's got plenty of go in it though. It goes alright for an 890. Plenty of torque there. And obviously I've still got a lot more to go, but it's just that oh, I can't really even up until we've done we've done 19 miles now, so yeah, so I've got to take it easy. Plus you've got new tires, new brakes. 
but it's got plenty of go in it. It's got enough. Now the sitting position on this is really nice. You, you know, you're straight upright, bolt upright. Bars are nice and wide. Very easy to turn the bike. Very comfortable. Now you can sit here all day on it, you know, no problems. It's really nice. Give it a little ride through the back roads here and see what it's like, what the suspension's like and stuff. That's a very bumpy bit of road back there and it took the bumps quite well actually. Suspension is pretty good but I'd say it is on the softer side like a stay but it is alright though. At the end of the day you're not going to like really push one of these bikes. They're sort of not made for that. At the end of the day it's not a sports bike you know. They'll be more made for really comfort and stuff. A bit of tour and you know. It does handle well though, like I said, very easy to turn. It'll be a great sort of first bike as well for someone really. Very easy bike to ride. Uh, the bike's still only done 24 miles, so still bedding in the brakes and stuff, but I seem alright the brakes at the moment. If anything they're gonna get better as well as I bed them in. But there's no problems with the brakes so far. Might be able to try them a bit up here actually, it's a bit of a corner, sharpest corner. Yeah, the brakes are fine, you know. Nothing wrong with the brakes at all. Actually, the more you ride it, the more you like it. That's, that is nice. It is nice to ride. Very comfortable, easy to ride, you know. Very good. But I say most KTMs are though, you know, they've all got good suspension, really as standard, and good brakes. Right, one good thing about this is uh, you can adjust the seat height. It's got two different heights. I'll show you how to do it. It's not that easy to do, but you can do it, which is pretty good. Take that seat off, rear seat, and then you just grab this seat. And you can just slide it, I suppose you'd be able to slide it up a bit, like that. Then it locates in a different place at the back, and the seat stays up. Look, so now you can see the seat's that much higher. And then you can um, adjust it back down again. 
and that sits down there let's say you've got that much difference which is very good well handy so you've got the shorter riders and the taller riders that's a very good idea All right, so we just stopped for tea and cake, which is very nice. We're off again. We've got to get back now. We've got to get back to all wells before um, they close up. So. All right, it's so a little bit of back road action again on the way back in. A little bit of gravel there. Yeah, I just lowered the seat, so that's quite good that is, that you can adjust the seat heights, very good. And uh, that's a lot nicer now, when it's stopped, put your feet down, I can touch floor really easily now, so that uh, would definitely be good for the shorter riders as well. I will put up um, the seat heights, I'll do it now, so you know what they are. But um, yeah, it makes a big difference. Yeah, this is a, this actually is a very good bike. That does handle well, very, very good handling. Yeah, brakes are really good, they're bedded in now. So we've only done 36 miles, but that's, uh, yeah, they're definitely all right now, the brakes. have got better and better as I rid it, so no problem at all with them. So I've done about 40 miles on it now, and uh, that's a nice bike. It's good, like I so the brakes are sort of bedded in now, and the tyres are bedded in, and and uh, ride nice. Brakes are good, fueling's good, suspension's nice, comfortable, really comfortable. You can sit on this all day long, no problems. So if that's, this is the sort of bike that you're looking for, an adventure bike, then give all our motorcycles a call. Sure they'll do you a good deal on one. The link will be in the description. Uh, but like I say, it's all well motorcycle, zip through Suffolk. So that's about it then for the day. Just say thanks to all wells for lending me the bike. And I'll see you on the next one.